So hello, everybody. We thought we'd just hop on to take you on a little tour of our membership platform so you can go behind the scenes and see what's available and how it all works. So I'm Leanne and I'm a life and wellbeing coach and I specialize in somatic practices. And I am not going to be taking you through the membership because it's not my area. I'm going to pass you over to Hannah, who's also co-creator of Handpick Life. And I'll see you later. Enjoy the tour. Yeah, thank you. So I'm Hannah. I am an astrologer, human design reader, and also a coach. Um, and I want to be guide you through the membership that we um, that we have at Hampit Live today. I'm actually really surprised we've not done this video before. I think a lot of people don't actually know what is involved in the membership. So we really wanted to give everybody a bit of an overview of what exists um, within that within our platform. Um, I just want to kind of caveat before we dive in that there's a lot there. And there's a lot to show you, um, but you'll learn throughout the video that there's not like this is not at all to show you that you need to use all of these different um, components, but just to kind of give you an overview of what the potential of the membership is. Um, and then based on your own experience and how you enter the membership, you can navigate those different features in a way that works for you. Um, so let's dive in. So. The structure of a Hampit Life membership um, consists of a monthly new moon coaching call. Um, we host those live and they're found in the events tab here when they're scheduled. I think we've got one coming up in a week's time. That's there. It has a Zoom link inside. And that that new moon coaching call is an opportunity to set a tone, the tone for a month, ahead, a month ahead. So it's almost a bit of a workshop. There's usually some learning on a specific topic. This month, we're going into shedding old narratives. So it's a lot about understanding old stories and how to transform and rewrite those stories for a fresh start. So there'll be, co there'll be a coaching call, there'll be learning. Um, and then at the end of those sessions, there's an opportunity to share and set intentions. So we, it, that part of the co coaching call is non-recorded and we just have an opportunity as members to come together share our intentions be witnessed um and and have a little bit of accountability and, and kind of group support rather than just being accountable to yourself um leanne do you have anything to add on those coaching calls yeah the only thing is that coaching call also gives us a chance to look at the month we've just lived as well so we're consistently reflecting on are we on track? What were what were the intentions of the month before? Where are we going to be going for the for the month ahead? So it's a really it's a really important piece to really help us keep on track. And if you can't make the live, then it does go into the library, which you'll get to know a little bit more in a moment. Yeah, so actually, while we're on that topic, I will quickly show you guys the library uh, for the new moon coaching calls. So. A lot of our past work coaching calls sit in the workshop and coaching call library under new moon coaching calls. Um, and within that library, they're all di like categorized diagnostically. So we have the latest coaching sessions, which sit at the top. And then we have different coaching calls and different coaching sessions on different topics. So generally, those new moon coaching calls are based and kind of like themed around the archetypal energy of that of the year. So, for example, in spring, it's a lot about taking action, being a bit more outward. In autumn, it's a lot about letting go and shedding, decomposing, um, transforming things, facing shadow, lots of different things. So within this coaching call library, you can use that with the tone of the year or there's cycles within cycles within cycles right we have and we have like the moon cycle which kind of reaches a peak of like a full moon and then the last quarter moon is a time for letting go so you know and we have our life cycles the cycles of a project the cycles of the year so there are so many opportunities within an archetypal phase of a cycle that you might need to draw on these different themes so in the summer, maybe you want to look at some autumn themes of shedding and letting go and decomposing if you're feeling a bit full and you feel the need that you, or, or maybe you're feeling blocked and you feel like you want to move through something. Or potentially you might be in a phase of life in the spring where actually you need to get really, really quiet and go inward and really listen to, to what's calling to you. Then you can use the um, the coaching calls within the um dream section of the archive which is associated with the winter about getting quiet really listening and connecting um so these libraries can be used diagnostically um based on whatever phase of life you're in at any time so there's support around menopause and life transitions pattern interrupters and healthy habits letting go of old stories um in dream we have things like creating an upgraded version of you um it, 
uh, coaching calls on manifestation, um, planting seeds of intention. There is a, it's a really, really vast and there's lots and lots and lots of different sections that will support you um, in being able to address what's present and work with the energy and where you are at, at that current time. Do you have anything to add there, Leanne? Just to be clear that when we're talking about the energy of the spring or the autumn, that is the archetypal energy. Mm -hmm. And any you may find that you're spending a lot of time in the in the summer section at some points and then at other points you'll go into the shed section. So it's really there for you to gain an understanding of where you are on the wheel, because if we connect to a cycle, then we're able to feed ourselves and shift through them much better and the, the whole basis of everything that we do is held by this cycle that things are constantly moving constantly changing and actually even more than a cycle it's like a spiral so either you're going to be coming up to look at something from a, di a different perspective or you'll be going down again as you spiral down to deepen something to go deeper into something so that whole um, the nature's rhythms model really holds the membership and everything that we do. So there's a scaffold in there to work from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And then I guess for those of you who have been with us a while, you'll be very, very aware that somatics are really, along with coaching, are really the foundations of a handpicked life. So we do look at a lot of coaching and a lot of, um, you know, introducing different, different concepts, trying out new different techniques. But the huge, huge part of what we do on the membership is based around somatic practices. Um, so we have a full library of um, a very, very full library of way over 100 practices um, of different practices for different times. And really, Actually, do you know what? Before I butcher this, Leanne, would you like to explain what somatic practices are and how we use them? <laughs> yeah. So the, the fundamentals of how we practice are, um, first of all, learning. So that there is always a time to gain a deeper understanding. So you you know why you're doing something. So you can set intentions. So you can, you can have clarity around what your conscious thoughts are and what your unconscious thoughts are. And, and then the main body is, is about somatic practices. So it's like, how do we put into action the things that we're ready to either shift or to go towards and to really get ourselves on board? So the conscious mind and the unconscious mind are, are really aligned. Because often you go to do something or you've got a dream or aspiration or you're finding that the same pattern keeps coming up in your life. And... That's the time to delve in a little bit and look at what are the beliefs behind this? What's the pattern? What is it that I've, I've, that's become so ingrained in me in order to be able to create the new? So that's where the somatic practice really comes in because it's surprising how quickly and easily you can shift through something when you really get your whole self on board. So that can be its whole body learning, its whole brain learning in order for, for you to really um, cement in ways of being that serve you well. So then anything that you do do is sustainable, it's easier, it's more enjoyable because the whole time you're creating the foundation. The somatic practices also always keep coming back to the foundation of peace from peace, that's when we can build joy, we get clarity, we're more aware of opportunities. So it's it's the main body of what we do is having a practice. And it's not just about a physical practice of stepping on your, on your mat, doing a practice and that's done. It's about how do you integrate the principles into everyday life? So it becomes something that's doable and as you go, you build your toolkit of, of, you'll have your first aiders that help you to get centered and balanced when you need it. You'll have your certain sessions that you go to um, when you're working on something in particular. So the whole thing is there really, really to support you. And we see this as in the nature's rhythms tool as really the ground section being 
the holding of all of it. So once you get centered and balanced and grounded and find peace, that's from where you, that's where we come from, from with everything that we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I couldn't have said it better than myself. Yeah, so <laughs> essentially the new moon coaching call is about learning, understanding, and then the somatic element of the membership is about embodiment, actually getting you on board. A lot of people kind of are very clear about what they don't want to do, the thing, how they want to behave, but actually bridging that gap could sometimes is, is the missing piece and somatics can really help us to do that. Um, so this, I'm going to show you now just the the um the daily practice library which is lots and lots and lots of somatic practices all archived up and split up in different ways so it's super super easy and simple to navigate um so you can find these on the left hand side in the navigation bar here so we've got the daily practice libraries or you can click into here and then you can see them a bit bigger so for the purposes of today that's what i'm going to do so in the first library that we have is recent classes and practices. And in that we release three to four um, somatic practices a month, some shorter, some longer. I'll show you a couple of the ones that are in here from this month. Um, and they're all a bit of a mix. So sometimes we'll have meditation, sometimes EFT sessions, sometimes yoga, energy medicine. Um, we can sometimes have dance classes and things like that, all different themes that kind of really tune in with the energy of the, the time of year that we're in, but also based on the needs of members. So I'll get onto our full moon coaching calls in a minute, but they're an opportunity for us to share, discuss what's happening with each other. And through those sessions, we, get, we are very well informed of what's happening with people. And there's often a lot of recurring themes. So sometimes we create and craft practices around those recurring themes. So people have the somatic support that they need alongside of it, um, the, the core content. So a couple of these core classes that we've had this month are all around the theme of the autumn. So we've got a really gorgeous um, dance and movement ritual, which helps you to kind of enter the autumn energy. We've got a, an EFT tapping session on the fear of change as we kind of transition into the autumn season and it becomes a period of time of letting go, of shedding, of reflection. Then that EFT tapping session is to kind of address that fear of maybe actually shedding and transforming. Um, we have a meditation to explore what's ready to move on. We're just kind of at the beginning, heading to the peak of the autumn season now. So it's a really, we're kind of at, within the membership, we're working on exploring what's ready, ready to move into our next 21 day experiment, which is all about shedding and letting go of old limiting narratives and stepping into a fresh start. Um, we have a couple of techniques on ground, illuminate your mind, body, soul, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm just going to go back here and I'll show you the diagnostic libraries. So they're the recent classes and practices. There's usually about nine within those. Um, and then we'll sw switch them out as we move through the months. Um, within the problems to solve, things to address library, this is specifically when it's, it's a really good practice library to draw from when you really are, you've identified something specific you want to work on, whether that's creating new habits, taking action, um, reprogramming your subconscious, uh, building joy, um, finding peace, grounding, um, working on your physical health, potentially. There's lots and lots of practices within this that will support you in doing that. Um, so, you know, for example, we've got um, push the reset button. So it's a really great session for grounding, having a bit of an energetic reset, particularly if you're in a time of transition or maybe you've been away for a while, you're coming home, things like that, just to give you a hard reset energetically, mentally, physically, just kind of gives you um, the opportunity but to ride out those periods of transition with a lot more ease and grace. Um I'll do a couple more examples. So in the let, let to go and address what's not working section, we have things like releasing on old stories, releasing unfinished business, cut your ties, um, letting go of old habits and stories, et cetera. Um, and then in the gain clarity and direction, um, this is like the more wintry period of time where it's going deep, connecting with your inner guidance, um, dreaming, getting clarity, lots of different practices to support things like that. Um, 
in the spring section, it's a lot about um, habit rehearsal, building momentum and lots of different things. So I'm not going to go through all the sections, but that's just an example of how those practice libraries can be used. Then we have a wonderful library, which is actually really, really popular and I think is very, very supportive for people kind of day to day. The lots of short practices is transmute and embody emotions. So this is like a almost like an emotional medicine cabinet. Um, and a lot of the practices are EFT, meditation, um, and they're just to support you in addressing certain emotions that maybe are coming up to the surface. So they can be emotions to transmute, which can be things like anxiety, panic, worry, self-doubt, overwhelm, fear, grief, regret, like so many different practices. So you can kind of draw from those based on how you're feeling and what you're experiencing at that time. And then on the flip side, we have um, a section on emotions to embody and cultivate. And within that section, like the first section is more about addressing and transmuting and kind of reaching like that cool, calm and collected state. And the emotions to embody and cultivate are almost like, OK, well, what are we going to now put it put in its place? So things like building gratitude, um, calm, self-love, uh, compassion, um, embodying courage, finding peace, lifting your spirits. A lot of these are focused on joy as well. So I think that that is a huge part. In fact, Leanne, do you want to talk a little bit about that? I know we're kind of, I don't know, we want, don't want to be too long, but I know you're like a lot of your philosophy and the way you coach is kind of having something to put in something's place once you've let go of something. So can you just expand on that a little bit, why that's useful? Yeah, and I was going to say, actually, um, that, when you look at this, it looks like an awful lot of stuff to sort of mm -hmm. sift through and look at. But the the actual the principles of a hampit life are really really simple. And with new members, the first thing that we encourage people to do is just begin to lay a foundation of peace. So going to the to the section of of ground, really embodying is the most important thing. Um, because until we've got that real strong foundation, then sustainable change is, is difficult because we'll easily jump back into stress. We easily go back to what we know. So the whole platform is set up so you can layer in a good foundation, first of all, come along to New Moon Coaching Calls or catch up in the library with a New Moon Coaching Calls, get clarity get your intention set so yours you begin to direct your energy and then things will show up in the present moment and this is something we really encourage that it's not about diving back into the past trying to fix yourself trying to work out what went wrong if you begin with a foundation of peace and we keep going back to basics always in the membership with every transition through the seasons we go back to where are you where's your sense of peace what lights you up where's the joy in your life and when you when you do that what needs to be addressed or what would be beneficial for you to be addressed will show up in the present moment and that's when you can go to the library so it's not about working through these one at a time and, and getting anxious and stressed about it it's about when you need it when something shows up you can also contact us and we can really help you navigate um, through anything that, that, that you need at any point. Then those practices are there for you. So we might help you put together a practice that you may keep for a couple of weeks. It's like, we'll, we'll use this out of the library or use that, or we might even craft something for you at that time to help you through it. Um, so, yeah, just, I mean, when I'm looking at that, I think, wow, there's so much. Mm -hmm. But actually, that's almost like that's there for when you need it. But mm -hmm. the grounding is really, really simple. It's like the new moon coaching calls, get set, mm -hmm. and then start to build this really strong foundation of peace. And yeah. from there, yeah. you're in, in contact with your joy. 
Absolutely. Yeah. And those full moon coaching calls that we have after the new moon, they are a lot more about like sharing, receiving coaching and things like that. So often those full moon coaching calls, we will point you in the direction of certain practices as well and things that you can draw on and you'll learn to navigate the libraries based on the guidance you receive from us in those sessions as well. So again, you don't need to remember all of this, but it's just to kind of, I guess, give you an overview of what's available and the potential that is within the membership. So the final library um, is the medicine wheel. Um, and within this section is a lot about like working with the energy of certain organs, uh, working with your physiology um, and also the archetypal energy of the season. So our nature's rhythms model, which is really the foundation of everything we do at a handpicked life. Um, this is really based on um, on that. So. In the first section, we have the earth element, which is related to the stomach, the spleen and the triple warmer. And these sections and archives, um, like when we're working with certain things, themes in our life, like if we want to ground, if we want to create a strong foundation, working with things like the stomach meridian, the spleen meridian um, can be really, really supportive in grounding us in kind of um, in. I guess what I'm trying to say there is like it's almost like a holistic approach so if you want to ground you can approach it at the energetic and physiological level so working with the stomach and spleen and triple warmer meridians can support you in grounding so it's almost like a different approach to addressing certain things and again this is something that we've done we've learned about extensively in the platform and we always feed into our new moon coaching calls so you'll really get to know this and start to understand how you can work with your body um, to achieve the things that you're hoping to achieve so we have the earth element section um this is a lot about resetting the body clock creating balance um grounding transitioning then we have the metal element, the section which is associated with the autumn, the lungs, the large intestine. Again, it's a lot about um, physical things like hormone balancing, menopause support, um, lung and health resilience, as well as metal element energy, um, transitions, stepping into autumn energy, letting go, shedding, transforming. Um, and we also in each section have a... Um, an equinox or a solstice class which will help you tune into the en archetypal energy of a season so even if you're transitioning into a period of letting go and you want to kind of focus a little bit on shadow work and go within then at any time of the year right we can use these um celebration um practices in a diagnostic way um to kind of help us transition into certain phases of life so each practice i should have mentioned before has a diagnostic tool so as you click into that, if you scroll down, there's a diagnostic tool which will tell you when and what what when is a great time to work with a practice. So the when to use section at last quarter moon, if life and energy is feeling packed or busy and full to the brim and you're ready to shed and let go. Um, if you're consciously ready to let go of something and you would like to align your mind and body with that phase of life. Sorry, my dog's deciding to dig the carpet as I'm speaking. Um, okay. Um, and then, so we have the water element practice. So this is focused on, blood knee, uh, on, on bladder and kidneys. It's all about nourishment, connecting with those deepest parts of yourself. So there's lots of practices here to support you around health, around sleep clearing brain fog, but also nourishing kidney and bladder energy, um, which supports you with those themes. Um, we then have the wood element section. So there's a lot of health in here around detoxing, clearing. This is the sp associated with the springtime, uh, the liver and gallbladder. Um, and that really is about kind of coming out of the winter, then ready to take action, right? So it's a lot about clearing energy, kind of clearing stagnation, um, boosting your vitality, boosting your energy um, and directing it and sending it where you want it to go. So it can be these sessions can be really supportive when you're taking new action or again, creating new habits as well. And again, we have the the dance ceremony and also the we have a sound bath for each each season or archetypal energies um, within these um, practice libraries. 
we have the fire element section, which is heart, small intestines and the radiant circuits that's associated with the summertime. And this is all about building joy. It's about the, the heart and the small intestine um, and those organs associated with that time of the year when we're working with them and balancing that energy. It can really support us in building joy, in addressing anxiety and lots of different things. Um, so again, I know that was quite a lot of information, but I guess I just want to, again, give you an idea of the potential. But within the membership, that's really when you join us, you will really get to learn this. And that's what like our, our ethos is, is start where you are and we'll layer in slowly along the way and you will build your knowledge and also build your understanding of somatic practices, how to work with them um, and also how to use them to, to really, really transform your life. Um, do you have anything to add on the practices, Leanne, before we move on to the monthly coaching call? Uh, only, only that when there are um, many practices to choose from as well, it helps keep your practice fresh. Mm -hmm. it, there'll be certain practices you'll be really drawn to. You might be more drawn to yoga or to the tapping, but that's there. So it really suits everyone. And there may be some sections that you just you never really go to if that, that they're not for you. So it really gives you that, that the choice. Yeah. Yeah. And that diagnostic tool can help you every step of the way as well. Like, but really this is all led by you. So when you're dropped in, when you're paying attention, when you're conscious, you can pay attention to, okay, this is what my needs are right now. And you'll learn and develop that as a skill as time goes on. Okay. So moving on, um, there's not much to show you on this, but the, the full moon coaching calls will be scheduled in the events area. We don't have our next one scheduled just yet, but that is a non-recorded session. Um, and really those sessions are an opportunity to share. Um, we'll usually have a few prompt questions um, and it's a group coaching call. Um, so there'll be an opportunity to share, receive coaching from um, Leanne or myself, um, and also to, to connect with other members, to share and to be witnessed. So that's really your opportunity to get like personalized support and guidance from two coaches essentially. And then I guess just one final feature of the membership to mention um, would be our weekly journal prompts and our weekly energy forecasts. So those weekly energy forecasts are hosted live by me each week um, and they will be around um, the, astro the astrology of that week, um, the phase of the moon that we're in, the um, archetypal energy of the season and they are an interpretation of how those energies will layer on top of each other and the potential of how they might influence us. And in those um, those articles, which I will show you uh, one just here, um, I will leave a package of a few suggested practices from the library that you might find supportive at that time, along with some weekly journal prompts. And the, the intention of those journal prompts is to keep you reflecting, keep you focused and on track um, and to keep you kind of, I guess, to cultivate awareness and almost like body and energy literacy as well like okay what's happening on the world or in the world around me how do I receive that energy and what is it that I need um in order to to thrive so within those weekly energy forecasts there's a bit of an article if you want to learn you prefer to learn rather than listen to the update uh, we have weekly journal prompts um which go along with it and then also those class recommendations that come up each week as well um so again what we've gone through there is quite a lot and I really want to kind of just make it very clear that there is absolutely no expectation of anybody to use everything these are features that are a part of the membership and you can draw on the things that work for you in order um, to like the work for you and help you on along your journey and then occasionally we'll sometimes have guest speakers as well and um, they all sit in the workshop library so we have a big jam-packed library um, within the workshop library which is separate to the new moon coaching calls again all diagnostically archived so you can navigate those easily a lot about um you know uh, creating consistency with nutrition um we're like discovering the five elements of the Chinese medicine wheel. So there's lots of different learning like that you can kind of do to explore and expand your knowledge if or when you feel like the time is right and you want to kind of dive into some topics and really kind of get a bit, get like dig into some really juicy content. There's heaps and heaps and heaps of sessions within this library. Um, one from a herbalist, a um, 
one on shadow work from a, an incredible psychologist and lots and lots of other different things. Um, there's a few um, workshops on things like astrology, human design um, and lots of other things. And then um, we also run roughly around two to three times a year, we'll run our 21 day programs within the membership. And they are programs where we will have a, a, a set of somatic practices that will release each day. Um, I'll show you the summer one, actually, because it's still on there at the moment. Um, so those programs are run. So we'll have an open introductory workshop, learning all about the different techniques we're going to use, why they're useful, what they do for us. Um, and then we'll dive into a framework of 21 days of somatic practices where we'll practice every single day together for 21 days. Um, and we'll also have um, weekly um, weekly coaching calls, weekly group coaching calls, again, non-recorded, but they're an opportunity for you to come share your experience, talk about where you are, receive a bit of guidance. Um, and it just really deepens the experience that they, they were a feature we only added about a year ago and it completely changed how people, um, like the benefits people got from um, these programs. And they also really helped people stay accountable, stay on track as well. Um, so there's within those programs, there's like bonus content. So you can dig into a few extra workshops and learn a little bit more. And then there's the 15 minute daily practice library where you'll have a practice that you can go through each day and they'll be released every single morning around 6 30. This one's got them all released because it was one that we ran in the summer, which was all about building happiness and building joy within your body. Um, we're just about to start our shed um, experiment. And that is all about tuning in, um, connecting with your intuition, and then also um, shedding and transforming old stories, as I mentioned before. So I think we've covered everything. Um, there is a really, really great um, orientation course which takes you through step by step how to use the platform and also for those of you who are a little bit apprehensive or not so tech savvy or someone who just wants me to teach them instead um when you when you sign up to the membership you get an opportunity to book a call with me where I can give you a live guide through the membership and show you how to navigate a couple of things just to help with building confidence we do have a lot of members who have joined us who really really struggled with the tech at first and through a little bit of coaching from me, they've all managed to like navigate the platform really, really successfully. It is very intuitive. There's a great mobile app, so you can have all of it on an app on your phone. So the tech's amazing. And yet the support is there if you feel like you need it. So thank you everybody so much for joining us. Um, that is just a little bit of a window into our membership. So if you are interested and you'd like to join, then you can check out the links below this video. Um, if you're listening to this in um, 2024, in the autumn of 2024, we are just about to start our 21 day experiment shed. So please do um, join us. We're starting that on the 31st of October. Um, if we're past that date and you're watching this video, pop onto our newsletter to stay updated with when we're gonna be doing our next 21 day programs, if that's what interests you. Um, we also have heaps of free content on our YouTube channel. So lots of practices, lots of um, different videos about different topics, learning, kind of coaching techniques, things like that. So if you're not sure and you're not ready to quite commit to the membership yet, but you want a little bit of a taste of what we do, there's loads of stuff there. Um, so I think that's pretty much everything. If anyone has any questions, drop a comment below, drop us an email. We're always happy to hear from people and lots of love. And we'll see you very, very soon on the next video. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Lots of love.